Hi, it's from the math. Easy solution to discuss. Well, uh, if you've seen my pro pi proof video, it's it's actually wrong here. So it's all wrong, and I was pointed out to by some random guy named Anthony. Thanks for uh, commenting, pointing it out. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So here, I just dragged this one in here. Basically, this is the pi proof that I did. I, I used uh, limits uh, using trigonometry and sine. And basically, uh, this is the proof here. And uh, this one's actually all wrong here. So uh, if I open up the notes in here, because I don't want to watch the video during the video. So basically, yeah, or, or just look up here. So I, I did just some random trigonomic stuff here. And then I derived pi as a limit. Let's just scroll this. Let's click this <coughs> notes here. So if you look at the Dropbox notes here, uh, I, I go, I derive this formula here. F pi is greater than 4n sine 45 over n. And then basically as you take it to infinity, it should equal to pi. But now I'll show you the, the mistake of doing this here. So I'll just write this down. Yeah, so this is the basically the limit that I derived in, the, in that video here. So pi is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of 4n sine 45 over n here. So now the problem with this one here, it, the way it, the calculator solves this, it actually converts this 45 degrees into radians. And so that's the problem here. Because the uh, radians is equal to, well, 45 degrees in radians, this equals to, well, pi over 4 here. So then it, it uses an approximation of pi in this here. So what the calculator does is it does uses to solve for sine, it uses an infinite series. So I'll write that down. So and the infinite series for sine of x is basically x minus x squared, I mean, uh, cubed divided by 3 factorial plus 5, and there's a 5 factorial minus, and it keeps going on and on. I'll show it in the later videos of basically proof for this one here. But basically, you can look at a Wikipedia, and that's this is what it, it gives you here for the infinite series, the same thing I wrote down. So now um, I actually made an Excel sheet basically calculating this instead of just putting into uh, a calculator and doing it because uh, uh, this they converted to radians here. So let's see what happens if we didn't convert to radians. We just left this 45 degrees in. Yeah, so the way that I put it in an Excel sheet, so then I would look at n here. So if I actually yeah, for this value here, if I pick an n value of let's say 10, then the x value that I'm going to put inside the uh, sine series below, this one, because remember this was an x here, this is going to be 45 divided by n. So x equals 45 divided by, well, 10 here. This is if n is equal to 10. And then I would plug this in here. And then once I get this value, I would times it by 4 and times it by the n. Here I just dragged this uh, Excel sheet that I made here. So if n is equal to 10, in degrees, it would be 45, yeah, 4.5 times 10 here. Uh, and I mean, I uh, divided by 10, so it's 4.5. And in radians here, uh, this one's going to be number 45 times pi divided by 180, because 180 degrees equals to pi, so that's the ratio, and then divided by n here. So if I did that, and then this one, I'll explain this one in a bit after. This is assuming a different value of pi. So basically, if I use that, then I'm using the, the first four terms just to make it easier. So I have this, uh, this cx, or this x minus x cubed divided by f 3 factorial, and all this is 5 factorial, etc. So I only did four terms. And for n terms, we get the sine value is equal to negative, this one here, negative 2 point whatever. And then, uh, and then basically solving for pi, we get, this one's negative 80, so it's really uh, inaccurate for 10 when using degrees. But then for pi, we get really close to pi here. Because uh, this one's going to be 4 times uh, the sine, and times it by the the n value here. So n is uh, yeah exactly how the formula that I, I derived in my last video. So then if, if we take it to, let's say, this is a, a, a lot, just a really, really big n. I don't know, this is 100 billion or something. We get basically pi, this is, uh, the zeros trailing here, this just means how accurate Excel is. So it's accurate only up to this point. And this image here is basically pi exactly uh, up to this point. So then we got, if you look at the, this one here, it's only accurate up to the 979. So then the 979, this is as accurate as you can make, uh, as, as you can get with Excel. So this is the most accurate you can get here. But, this is in uh, radians here. If I look at it, this one is this is only when we you when when I, when I was using radians here. When I was using degrees, we get 180. So this th we get pi is 180 here. So this is something uh, that's uh, that's wrong in this. Uh, yeah. So this is where it's wrong, where my proof is wrong. So if I use degrees, I get 180 degrees, and but if I use pi, I get pi here. But if I actually just 
look at the radians and, and change the value of pi instead of writing pi here because this is a, there it, you're using an assumption of for pi to prove pi so it's you're not really doing anything so if I made pi equal to equals to three and did exactly the same here I'm gonna get pi is equal to three so that proof doesn't mean anything and now to explain why it's this well we could actually go further with this limit here we'll simplify this further so if I rewrite this again, now the problem here that we're getting this 180 degrees is because of this this unit uh, value here, 45 degrees. And and in the calculator it converts it to radians using a, a uh, estimate for pi. So then so now the problem here, let's 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 just simplify this a bit further. Let's go let this is what uh, Anthony he showed here. So uh, let t is equal to 45 degrees over n here. We need we need the degrees sign here because we have units. So now we're gonna get uh, n is going to equal to 45 degrees, just rearranging this one over t. So we're going to get here limit as n approaches infinity. We're going to have 4 times it by 45 degrees over t times it by sine of t. And now this 4 times 45 degrees, this is just 180. So we're going to equal this, yeah, so this equals to, we could take it out of the limit, 180 degrees times it by limit well now now we're not using n anymore remember as yeah basically as as n goes to infinity I forgot to include this yeah as n goes to infinity t goes to zero here so this is actually a, a, a t not an n yeah so I just erased that this is gonna be t up to zero here so now as n goes to infinity t goes to zero so now we're gonna have limit one so we're gonna take this 180 degrees out so that's where it is where we get this 180 degrees and then this is gonna be a zero times it by now sine t over t. Yeah, so now we get this this value right here. And now I, I've showed it in my earlier video actually, this is the limit of this one is equal to one here. You could even use La Hapitel's rule because you're gonna have a, this is gonna be sine of zero, zero over zero. This is an indeterminate form. Yeah, this is indeterminate form right down here because it's too big. But anyways, so now since it's zero over zero, even if it's infinity or infinity, we could use La Hapitel's rule basically you get the limit here and, and if we have zero zero we could just take the derivative of the top and bottom so this equals to 180 degrees and then the derivative of the top so me limit t goes to zero the, the derivative of the top is gonna be cos of t and the derivative of the bottom is gonna be one and then if you put in a cos of zero is equal to one so we're gonna have a one here so this one is equal to one and now we're gonna have pi equals to 180 degrees so as you can see where this 180 degree, degrees comes from, and this is, well, this is correct, actually, because pi is 180 degrees, but the thing is, it's, it's, uh, we're not proving anything here. Because all it is is we're using the definition of radiance here. So now this one's al also equal to, well, pi over 180 degrees. Be, uh, this is radiance here. So all we're doing is basically verifying, yeah, that 180 degrees equals pi radiance. And that actual value here, when you, when you put n really large, all it's doing is using whatever the computer or the calculator's estimate for pi. So we're not actually deriving 3.14. So we have no proof here, and, and as you can see, yeah, as you can see from here, when I just let a pi equals to 3, if I let pi equals to 3 here, we're going to get pi equals to 3. That's all we're doing is, is, is getting whatever we estimate. So yeah, so in this case here, if the ratio of pi is equal to 3, we're going to get... Uh, pi is equal to 180 degrees times it by, well, times it by 3 radians if pi is equal to 3 over 180. And this just equals to, well, 3 radians. So as you can see, it's uh, it's uh, messed up here and it's we're not really proving anything. So yeah, so my proof is, is wrong here. All we're doing is basically just verifying 180 degrees equals pi radians using the definition inside the sign here, because all this is converted to radians, which has a d defined and estimated pi for whatever the calculator you use. So we're not doing anything here, but I will show in my later uh, video, actually, I'm gonna, in my next video, I'm gonna, I'll show proof of pi using Archimedes principle, or Archimedes uh, proof here using just basic trigonometry instead of, similar to what I did in actually the limit for that I derived, except using Pythagoras theorem here. And using this one, we'll, we'll avoid having any predefined pi and we're gonna, I'll show you how you can get it uh, fairly accurate with this this proof. And then later on, I'm gonna show infinite series to get uh, basically to determine pi to very high uh, decimal places. 
Well, that's all for it. I hope you learned, and uh, if you did see my earlier video on Pi, uh, well, now you know it's wrong, and uh, thanks again to this random guy, Anthony. Uh, it's, uh, appreciate uh, the feedback, and that's all for today. Remember, you can download these notes here, and uh, make sure to watch this video and, and uh, just to get a better idea of why it's wrong, and uh, appreciate it more. Well, that's all for today, and uh, stay tuned for another math easy solution.